Hello, my lovely Leo. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. We are here today for a tarot love reading for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And of course, for any of you lovely folks dealing with a Leo romantically. This is a timeless reading today, Leo. Whenever you click into this video is when you're meant to hear the messages. But I do like to remind you, it is a general reading. It may or may not resonate and you are more than welcome to take what works and leave the rest. Now, before we get to it, I do want to remind you, I have my Etsy shop up and running. If you would like to purchase a tarot card reading from me, definitely feel free to head on over to Etsy. The link is just in the description box below this video, and you can see everything that I'm currently offering on my shop. All right, my love. So we're going to jump in today. Leo, we're going to see what's coming toward you in love. I am starting uh, with the Crystal Visions Tarot here. We're going to pull three cards, and then we're going to dig into the messages a little bit more. What is coming toward Leo right now in love? What is coming toward Leo right now in love? First card out is the Three of Pentacles. This is a beautiful card about collaboration, teamwork, and working really well together. It's also a very supportive energy. And so for those of you in a relationship, it could be that either you or your partner are supporting each other through something that you're experiencing right now. Now, for those of you who are single, I feel like there's somebody in your life who is offering you a lot of support somebody who's there for you when you need them. And I sometimes feel with the Three of Pentacles that this can represent the energy of a friendship that's turning into something more romantic. It's almost like somebody supporting you and through that support, you're starting to look at them a little bit differently and you're starting to see them as a potential love interest. So we'll see where this goes. It could also be like you're working through some sort of issue related to your love life. But there's definitely a sense of uh, needing to work together to solve a problem, especially for those of you in a connection right now. Let's see what else is coming toward Leo. What else have we got? Oh my goodness. Okay. So we've got the unknown card. Within the Crystal Visions Tarot, this is a bonus extra card. Now I keep it in the deck because I just, I don't know, I leave it in there, Leo, and I see when it comes through. And basically what it represents to me is unknown factors that are coming into play affecting your love life. So right now, when you're watching this reading, there could be unknowns, there could be that you don't have all the information you need about a situation. <laughs> this is my kitty cat. Um, there could be things going on behind the scenes related to your love life that you're maybe not aware of right now. So I think you should expect that when it comes to love, when you're watching this reading, whether you're single, whether you're in a relationship, this is Frankie. Oh, and that's Fiona in the background. Um, so whether you're single or whether you're in a relationship, I feel like there's some unknown things that are coming into play for you right now, Leo, and you're going to have to navigate <laughs> these unknown factors when it comes to love. So let's get one more card here. Let's get one more. If you guys have been on my channel, you know Frankie. Um, if you're new to my channel, my kitty cats love to say hello. I have two cats, Frankie and Fiona. All right, let's see what's coming toward Leo. Let's get one more. And then we've got the Eight of Pentacles. That's beautiful. Okay. So the Eight of Pentacles is about working hard at something and being invested in a situation. And so the fact that we've got the Three of Pentacles and the Eight of Pentacles is actually very positive and very stable energy. So what I'm going to say here for you, Leo, is that even though it looks like there's unknown factors that are coming into play right now, and that can be a little bit stressful, it can maybe create a little bit of uncertainty related to your love life, I do feel there's also a sense of stability surrounding these unknown circumstances. So let's say there's something like unknown, unexpected happening within your connection or within your life. Uh, I feel like your partner is going to be there for you. They're going to support you. They're going to prioritize you. They're going to really make the effort to show you that they are supporting you through this issue or the situation or whatever it is. And like I said, for those of you who are, are uh, single Leo, I get very, very, very strong energy here of you going through something. And again, you know, take it how it connects with you. Something where maybe it's a bit stressful. You don't quite know what's going to happen. You don't quite have all the information. You're not sure how the situation is going to play out. But I feel like there is somebody here who is helping you. They're checking in. They're offering support. They're letting you know that they're here to help. And I feel like this is... Um, non-romantic Leo, but I do think that because this person is really investing this time and effort into the connection between the two of you, I feel like they're demonstrating to you that they have the potential to be a really good partner. And I know that's kind of a specific message, but it's kind of, it feels a little bit like somebody is proving to you what a good partner they could be. And you may have never actually looked at that person in a romantic way, 
but because they're showing up for you and they're supporting you through whatever is going on, I do think for some of you, what could be going on right now is that your feelings towards somebody in your life could be shifting in a different direction, okay? So for the rest of the reading, I want to look more at the energy of this person who is here for you. Again, whether it's your current partner, whether it's somebody new, whether it's a friendship turning romantic, we're going to look at their general energy, what they're feeling and what actions they're taking. And then we're going to look at the same thing for you, Leo, and then look at the potential outcome. So let's find out a little bit more about this person who's here for Leo. Let's find out a little bit more. The lovers. Okay. They love you. Very simple. First message here. This is the first card coming out for your person's energy. Okay. So obviously somebody here cares very deeply about you. They choose you, Leo. They love you. They like you. They're attracted to you. They're invested in you and they're invested in the connection. They have strong feelings. Tell me more, please, about this person. Tell me more generally about their energy. Oh, two cards came out. We've got the chariot and we've got the five of swords. Oh my goodness. And we got Fiona. All right, Leo, you got both of my kitty cats today. <laughs> You've got Frankie and Fiona. Frankie's actually just sitting over to my left here just off camera and obviously Fiona was feeling a little left out and wanted to join the party so you are blessed by both of my kitty cats saying hello but as I was saying the next two cards coming out for your person are the chariot and the five of swords now what I can see here for your person is that they're charging forward with some sort of willpower and determination to deal with a challenging situation represented by the five of swords the Five of Swords represents potential uh, negativity, toxicity. It can represent being in a power struggle. It could represent um, drama, right? I always say with the Five of Swords to you, Leo, it's like drama, drama, drama. Now, I wonder, like, I don't know why, you guys, but what I'm feeling here intuitively with those cards is that it's a protective energy of this person towards you. And let me explain what I'm picking up on here. As we talked about, I feel like there's something going on for you that you're navigating and this person is supporting you, right? I feel like there's maybe some negativity in the environment. Maybe there's some gossiping. Maybe there's a toxic friend or family member or person in your environment that's making things a little bit more difficult. I'm feeling this very protective energy. And I know that's not necessarily like a traditional interpretation of those cards, but I'm looking at the chariot and I'm looking like at the five of swords. And what I'm getting, Leo, is that they're shutting down any sort of negativity, any sort of toxicity, anybody who is bringing stress into your life, anybody who's bringing drama into your life. I feel this protective energy where it's like they're I see them standing up for you. I see them defending you and they're not putting up with any negativity with that five of swords. And so they're shutting that down. And it just feels like a very protective energy where they're like, I want to like disengage from this negative situation and I want to walk away from it and make sure that Leo is not impacted by this energy. Okay. So let's see what this person is feeling. What is this person feeling right now? Ace of wands. Wow. I, I really, Leo, you have to leave me a comment if this connects with you, but I really do feel that passionate feelings are developing for some of you single Leos towards this person as they support you. That's what I've been picking up on since the start of your rating. If you're connecting with the message today, obviously in this person's feelings, there is somebody here who's very passionate about you, very attracted to you. There's beautiful chemistry. There's this lovely energy of this, you know, fire and sparks and fireworks connecting between the two of you. This could be brand new love, right? The development of like a little spark. Like that's the thing with friendship. There's a spark starting to develop between you and somebody. Now, for those of you in a relationship, I feel like this is passion developing, connection, love, intimacy, all those beautiful factors. So whether this is your current partner or whether it's somebody new, there's definitely this passion that they experience for you, Leo. Okay. Tell me what else this person is feeling. Let's see. King of Pentacles, beautiful. They are very stable and grounded and certain about their feelings. They know what they want, which is you, and they are stable. Like I said, like, this is not somebody who's like, do I like Leo? Do I not like Leo? Should I support Leo? Should I not support Leo? No, this is an incredibly stable energy of somebody who you can rely on, which goes back to that beautiful energy that we saw in the overall energy with the three of pentacles and the eight of pentacles. So I feel like the person who's here for you, Leo, is really showing up as that very stable presence within your life. Somebody who will support you through whatever it is you need and is really proving themselves to you. Okay. Let's get one more for what Leo, uh, Leo's person is feeling. Let's get one more for what Leo's person is feeling. And then the star. <laughs> Beautiful. Uh, they're very hopeful. They're very optimistic. 
They feel good about how things are moving forward between the two of you and you're everything that they've wished for, okay? <coughs> Excuse me, sorry, Leo. I was worried to film today because I've had like just a little bit of a cough. So I'm sorry, you guys. Um, if I have to cough a little bit, it might happen, but we're going to try to push through. Um, but yeah, they're very hopeful, very optimistic. And um, yeah, just looking at you and they're like, okay, so basically Leo is everything that I've ever wished for. Their feelings are beautiful. They obviously feel really good about the connection between the two of you. And um, yeah, I don't know. I also feel like if this is a friend of yours, Leo, like I said, for those of you who are single, like they might not have even expected to have these romantic feelings. Like they may have just been like a really good person who was helping you through something, but then through supporting you, both of you started to develop these feelings, okay? <coughs> oh my gosh. Am I gonna be able to finish the reading? We will see. <coughs> Hold on one second, Leo. Sorry, Leo, I'm back. I just needed to take a little bit of a coughing break off camera. Let's hope we can get through the rest of the reading. Okay, but yeah, like I said, this person's super into you or they're becoming super interested in you. Very stable, very reliable, very grounded. So let's see what actions they're taking. Let's see what actions this person is taking. Queen of Swords, beautiful. Clearly communicating how they feel, what they want. This person is talking to you. They're asking questions. They might be asking how they can support you. They could be expressing their feelings, but there's obviously some very clear and direct communication coming towards you, which is beautiful because it means that you're not having to guess what's going on with this person. It's pretty clear and it's pretty straightforward, okay? Tell me what other actions this person is taking. Let's see. Page of Wands. Yes, if this is new love, Leo. And okay, I've been talking about how this could be a friendship turning romantic. It could also just be a brand new person coming into your life, okay? So take it as it connects. But whatever I'm picking up on here, there is a person around you who's very passionate about you, Leo. Whether it's new love, whether it's your current partner, whether it's a friendship turning romantic, somebody here is flirting with you. <clears throat> somebody here is making a move on you and somebody is um i feel like they're asking you out on a fun date with that page of wands energy okay uh let's get one more for what actions this person is taking let's see and then the magician they're working on manifesting this connection they're working on manifesting a future this person is very active and action oriented the magician is a go-getter. The magician is somebody who goes after what they want. And so this is somebody where they're actively pursuing you. They're not just passively sitting back, Leo, and waiting for things to happen. They're actively like in the driver's seat trying to make things go forward, okay? <clears throat> okay, so let's look at you. Let's look at your overall energy to start, please. Let's see what we've got. Four of Pentacles. So here's the thing that's interesting, you guys. It kind of looks like you're holding on to something here. And maybe this is something that doesn't really serve you and it's time to let it go. Like, I wonder if that's related to the unknown card. Like maybe there's, <clears throat> sorry guys, maybe there's something you need to release in your life. Like the four of pentacles tends to represent holding on to something really tightly and feeling like we can't let go but sometimes we have to release that in order to create more space within our life to you know, enjoy our life, live authentically. So I do encourage some of you to think about, <clears throat> is there any emotional baggage, any, anything you need to let go of or release right now um, that is no longer serving you, right? Uh, tell me, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. This reading is becoming unhinged, Leo. One second, one second, you guys. Uh, what have we got here? What have we got? The Ace of Cups. Okay, so here's the thing, you guys. Um, we've got the Ace of Cups showing up for you here, uh, which is really beautiful. So I feel like you're ready for new love. You're ready for a new emotional experience. I do see that happening for you. We've had an Ace for your person, and we've got an Ace for... Um, your energy as well. So I feel like it's almost as if you need to let go of something with that four of pentacles in order to have a new emotional experience, okay? So that's kind of what I feel is going on here. So I just want you to think about like what that represents, Leo, and what you need to let go of. Let's get one more for your general energy, please. <clears throat> and then the seven of cups. But there's something that you're confused about, all right? Which makes sense, again, because we had the unknown card. I think right now, honestly, my loves, I think you just need to be like a little bit patient with yourself and whatever it is that you're going through and whatever it is that you're experiencing because there is unknown factors affecting you. There is uncertainty. There's a little bit of that energy of 
do I do this? Do I do that? Do I choose this? Do I choose that? And you're trying to figure out what to do. You want to move forward, but I do see you being a little bit stuck. And that's why I think I've been getting a lot of this energy of somebody coming in and supporting you because I do think that you're dealing with something that you're trying to make sense of in your life. And so you're working yourself through some sort of confusing situation, okay? Um, what is Leo feeling? What is Leo feeling? Let's see. Page of Cups, but you obviously have romantic feelings for this person. You've got, um, you've got feelings, you've got love. Some of you are in love with this person. And so I feel you making a romantic gesture towards them. Yeah, I, like I, I feel you approaching them and being like, look, maybe I've been a bit distracted. I've been a bit uncertain, a bit disconnected, but I do feel something for you, right? So you're trying to keep that emotional connection alive between the two of you. Tell me more about what Leo is feeling, please. Three of Wands. You're looking ahead to the future. So this is good because what this tells me is that whatever you're experiencing right now, Leo, it feels very much like it's a temporary situation. And when I look at your energy, none of the cards that we've got so far are major arcana. And I always say to you, you know, when I see a lot of major arcana, to me, that's like big changes, big energy, big shifting. But when it's more like minor arcana, to me, that's like, you know, everyday life, stuff that comes up that we have to deal with, but it doesn't throw us off course. And normally we're able to navigate it and move forward. So I see you here moving past something and finding your way forward, okay? Tell me more. It's Like I said, it just feels like you have to release something. And with that unknown card, I don't know if you're gonna get some information or some, you're gonna figure something out or somebody's gonna reveal, you, reveal something to you <clears throat> about what's going on but I feel like that's going to allow you to move past that situation and let it go. Tell me more about what Leo is feeling, please. And then the emperor, that's actually really good, you guys. So the emperor is a very like confident, self-assured energy. And so I do think that you're feeling confident that you can move past this situation, okay? So what actions are Leo taking? What actions are Leo taking? Queen of Cups. You're getting in touch with your emotions and I think you're opening up emotionally to the person who's here for you. I'm definitely getting a sense here, Leo, of emotional vulnerability, okay? And so with whatever it is that you're experiencing, I feel like you're leaning on your person for emotional support and that's what's really helping to build that intimacy between the two of you so that you can move forward, okay? Uh, what other actions, what other actions are you taking? Seven of Swords. That's a bit of a tough one, you guys. Um, the Seven of Swords is the Thief of the Tarot. It's a card about kind of sneaking around, not being open, not being forthcoming about a situation. And I feel like it can sometimes represent um, a bit of a self-sabotaging energy. It can be a bit of a strategic energy as well. Um, but it's interesting to have the Queen of Cups and then the seven of swords, because what it honestly feels like to me, Leo, is like you're going to open up to your person emotionally, but then it's going to kind of freak you out that you opened up to them emotionally and you might find yourself pulling back, shutting down, hiding your feelings, or maybe doing something to push them away, which is that kind of self-sabotaging energy. And so I see you here wanting to be emotionally vulnerable with this person, but maybe that's not something that you're used to. And so because this person is so supportive, I think you're going to start to open up, but then it might feel a little bit scary to you to allow yourself to be emotionally vulnerable. So that's just something you could be experiencing. Like it's something to be mindful of if you're connecting with this specific message, Leo. It's like, there's somebody here who really wants to support you. It looks like you're going through something that's a bit confusing for you, maybe related to something you're trying to detach from. You want to open up to this person and have them support you, but it's also a little bit scary to be vulnerable. So I see you kind of going back and forth with those feelings of wanting to open up, but then also feeling like, oh, I don't know, should I have done that? Should I have talked to them about my problems? What are they going to think of me? Like I could see you getting up in your head and being like, is this person not going to like me as much or are they not going to support me because I'm kind of stressed right now and I'm going through this issue? That's not what I see in their energy. I see this person being very supportive and I feel like that's the thing. And I think a lot of us should look for this in relationships. It's like when we go through a tough time and we are not our best selves and we're stressed and we've got stuff going on, can our person handle it? 
Can they show up? Can I, they support us? Because it's all well and good when relationships are happy and easy and there's no challenge or stress, but I feel like the really telling moments can be the moments where there is struggle and you see how that person shows up for you. And maybe you haven't had that experience before, Leo, of having somebody really show up for you in the way that you need. And maybe it's hard for you to be vulnerable and open up and admit that you're struggling. Maybe it's a little bit of that Leo pride for some of you where you're like, I don't like to admit when I'm struggling. I don't like to admit when I don't have all the answers or I don't have everything figured out. And so it might be hard for you to open up with this person, but I think they're really trying to show you that they will support you with this. Let's get one more for what actions you're taking. And then the seven of pentacles, beautiful, yeah. So right now I see you not wanting to rush anything. You're just kind of like, Taking your time with this circumstance, taking your time with what you've got going on in your life. You've got someone here who's very supportive. And I think what your priority is right now is dealing with the Four of Pentacles, the Seven of Cups, dealing with the confusing unknown situation, finding some sort of resolution, um, and then moving forward once you've been able to kind of deal with whatever that is. And so when we're in, when we're in the Seven of Cups, honestly, you guys, in my opinion, this is not like the best place to make decisions and you know get clarity because this is ultimately a card of confusion and not in this tarot deck but like in the traditional uh rider weight the seven of cups there is um, like a cloud behind it if you look if you know the rider weight deck you know what i'm talking about the cloud represents the um confusion the fantasy the illusion of what we're seeing and so it's really important here that you allow yourself to get to a clear headed perspective so that you can move forward. And it's like, you don't have to make any decisions until you're in a bit more of a place of certainty and clarity. And for those of you who are single, if this is new love, it's like, you don't have to be making a decision right this moment about whether you're gonna date. I feel like what's gonna happen is you're gonna deal with your situation and then you're gonna realize like this person really showed up for you through that circumstance. And that's where I feel that the feelings are gonna change for you, okay? So what is the potential outcome here? What is the potential outcome? 10 of wands. I feel like the stress is being alleviated. The 10 of wands to me is like, you know what? It's been stressful. You feel like you've had the weight of the world on your shoulders, but the 10 also represents completion and wrapping something up. So this is actually a very positive indicator to have in the outcome, Leo, because it tells me that the stress or the uncertainty that you've been experiencing, even though it's been tough, I feel like you're moving forward. Now, what do I always say to you about the 10 of wands, Leo, okay? I always like to point out that this is one person, okay, here, who is carrying those wands up that mountain by themselves. Now, don't you find that a little ironic, given everything I was saying earlier in your reading, where I was like, Leo, maybe you struggle to ask for help. Maybe you struggle to admit when you're struggling. I feel like it's actually quite significant that this is showing up in your outcome with the 10 of wands, because to me, it's like you are realizing in the outcome here, you don't have to navigate everything on your own. You're realizing that you have the energy of somebody here who is supportive. And I feel like what the outcome suggests to me is that you realize that this person will be there for you, even when it's stressful, even when stuff is going on that's challenging. I think you're like, I don't know. I don't think I have to do it anymore on my own. I think I can open up and trust this person. And so I feel like in the outcome, you're learning that there is somebody here who loves and supports you and you're not going to have to carry this heavy load on your own anymore. And you can have somebody join you in this journey. And part of this is probably like your own learning and your own comfort level, right? And so I think you're starting to realize like, even though it feels a little uncomfortable initially to open up and be emotionally vulnerable, if you're opening up and you're talking about how you're stressed or how you're uncertain or how there's some stuff going on and you're not really sure how it's gonna play out, the more that you open up and you receive positive support and positivity from that person and that person understands you, what I feel is like it's creating a safe space because it's like, I don't think you're opening up all at once, it's almost like you open up a little bit and then you see how that person reacts, right? And then if they're supportive and caring, then you open up a little bit more. And if they continue to be that way, that's where that emotional intimacy starts to be established between the two of you. So that's kind of what I feel here. It's like, you've got somebody here who's really solid and very supportive. And it's like, they're creating a safe space for you 
to be vulnerable in the midst of some sort of challenge that you're working through. Again, I don't think this is a big thing there. You know, it's, it's not huge energy, whatever this is, I think it's going to resolve. But I think that the big thing coming out of this situation is you're going to realize that this person can show up for you. And if it's your current partner, that's great. That's lovely. You know, you've got somebody here who really cares for you. But I do think some of you are going to start to see somebody in your life a little bit differently because you realize how loving and how supportive they can be. All right. So I'm going to leave it there for you, Leo. If you enjoyed this reading, please give me a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and notification bell. You can head on over to Etsy to see everything that I've currently got available in my shop. The link is in the description box below this video. And of course, I wish you so much love and so much happiness, my lovely lions, and we will talk soon. Bye guys.